what's up? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys checking today's video out. And just actually heading back from Joplin, had been down mowing my mom and dad's place down there, heading back home, wanted to do today's video. And it got me thinking a little bit, you know, right, right now we're actually sort of getting wrapped up a little bit. You know, we've been right in the middle of the northern swing of smallmouth uh, tournaments, you know, for all the tournament organizations that have been up north for the past two months. And uh, everybody, I think, is getting a little burned out on just seeing nothing but four and five pounders calling drop shots. And it made me thinking about how the smallmouth bass fishing in general is becoming less popular and it's losing its popularity versus largemouth fishing. And I got, and a lot of this has come not only from my own experience, but from the, from the comments that I've received the last couple of years since I've been doing a lot of uh, smallmouth commentary on the live scoping. So I just wanted to get into that a little bit because I think it's, it makes for an interesting conversation here. You know, I think a lot of this, it's like, I hear it over and over again. We talked about this briefly in a couple videos, but I wanted this is sort of a different, different approach is the general gist of the whole thing is from a, a viewer standpoint, guys are tired of, you know, seeing guys casting out drop shots for smallmouth looking at their electronics. It's, it's boring, it's not any fun to watch. It's like there's nothing exciting about it. And this has changed a lot and it got me thinking about it because man, 20 years ago guys, there was nothing I looked forward more to than going up north in a smallmouth tournament. Like, you know, Lake St. Clair, Champlain, all that type of stuff. Because the way we caught them back then, it was fun. We caught them, you know, you have these big smallmouth blasting topwaters out of the water. You know, you'd have them boiling up on spooks. You'd be burning spinner baits, and you know these smallmouth that hit it like they're you know flushing a toilet underneath the bait. And power fishing techniques—that's how we fished for smallmouth back then. No, nobody finessed fish for smallmouth 20 years ago. Just you just didn't do it. Everybody power fished for smallmouth, and the smallmouth were so vicious that it was everybody's favorite deal. Not so much anymore, guys, because with the advent, the advent of you know side imaging, down imaging, sky, uh, live scope and all that type of stuff, and drop shot, and especially drop shot and flatworms and stuff like that. Smallmouth fishing has been morphed into something that has become boring because you cannot compete. If you go up north and you try to power fish for smallmouth, you're gonna get your butt kicked. If you don't weenie worm around out there with a drop shot looking at your electronics, you're not gonna compete, you're not gonna win. It's, and ultimately that's just no fun that's no fun for to watch it's no fun to you know to, to get the it takes all the excitement out of the power fishing aspect of it and that's why large mouth fishing continues to be on the upswing and continues to remain popular because overall large mouth tend to be more of a power oriented sport you know you catch them you know a variety of different power fishing ways you catch them cranking you catch them top water you catch them chatter bait you catch them on lipless crank baits you catch them moving baits and that is what is fun guys that that's one of the inherent things about bass fishing that is fun it's the strike you, you think about it it's like when you when you try to determine what is it that you really love about bass fishing to me it's all about the strike and that first couple cranks on the real handle everything else is secondary for that playing the fish out and seeing it jump and that type of stuff it's cool but it's not it does not give you that buzz like this strike and the buzz that you get from the strike is it comes from power fishing it doesn't come from weaning worming around with you know drop shot and, and that type of stuff it comes from moving bait power fishing you know just aggressive style of fishing and that's that's one of the reasons that you see the smallmouth popularity you know waning off especially amongst the viewerships like that so you know i think it i think it says a lot for the sport overall as far as how people like to catch them is that you know it's we, we've talked about this before it's like they're yeah drop shotting with a live scope is the best way to catch them but what's the funnest way to catch them you know would you would you rather would you rather catch you know 20 bass looking at a live scope with a drop shot or would you or would you rather catch 10 bass watching them blow a walking top water or a hole in the water as big around as your truck hood that's the ultimate difference with it so anyway it was just a just a couple thoughts that was on the top of my mind be curious to get your guys' opinion on that 
but I think that's sort of why, you know, smallmouth fishing is beginning to lose its popularity from what it was before, man. I, I remember the, the first time, guys, that we went to Lake Champlain. This was 19, early 1990s. No, there, nobody knew what Lake Champlain was. Nobody ever fished it before. The only guys that had ever fished it were the guys that lived up there. And uh, the, I remember that tournament, the first day of practice I went out, I had, I caught over a hundred bass on the Mega Bass Giant Dog X topwater, and I wasn't even trying to catch them. And like 30 of them were over four pounds. I, I'd catch a four pounder, then I'd kick the trolling motor high and not even make a cast. I'd go down the flat for another 50 yards and make another cast and catch them. It was the, it was the funnest day of fishing I ever had in my life. I'll never forget that. And if I would have went out there and, and caught a hundred on a drop shot, it just wouldn't have been the same. But anyway, just a, a few thoughts driving back here. Let me know what you guys think. And um, hey guys, please hit that subscribe button, man. We're getting close to 85,000. Um, appreciate your help and getting me over that that hump right there. We got a big Bridgeford Sweet Baby Ray Jerky giveaway at 85,000. All you got to do is, uh, hit, is hit that subscribe button to be eligible to win. And, and also hit those view products, man. The view products tab at the bottom of the screen when you turn the video on. Uh, clicking on uh, any of those products is a good way to support the channel too. Okay guys, talk to you later. See you.